everybody, this is Sarah with Tour Reviews for you. Welcome back to day 18 of the 25 days of poppin' cooking. I received a couple of requests from you guys asking if I could post these videos without any talking or any music. So I think for this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna post this video twice. I'm gonna post it first, originally with me talking and the music, and then I'm gonna be posting it again with just the sound effects of me making the set. If you guys like that idea and want to have an additional video with no music and no talking, just let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or if you just like that idea, give it a thumbs down. I promise I won't be insulted if you guys give the idea a thumbs down. All right, well let's see what I'll be making today. I just have a few slides left. Let's try this one. Ooh, it looks like some sort of a ramen set. This set includes a bowl of ramen and a couple of dumplings. To be quite honest, this doesn't look so appealing to me. I'm a little bit scared for the taste test. So inside this set, you get a plastic tray, a brown packet for the broth, an orange packet for the ramen noodles, a red packet for the stuff that goes inside of the dumplings, a piece of candy to make the dumpling dough, a plastic fork, a toothpick, and a plastic bag. In addition, you will also need a pair of scissors and some water. So let's get started. The first step is to cut up our plastic tray into several pieces. Now, using the guide that's on the plastic bag, I'm gonna open up this piece of candy, make two round, small balls out of the candy, divide the rest of the candy into two pieces, flatten each one out so that it's the shape of the larger circle, now I'm gonna grab my round plastic piece and mold each of the round pieces of candy to it. Open the red packet and put a little bit of the stuff from the red packet inside of your candy. Fold the candy and the mold piece over. And look at that, you have your first dumpling. I'll do the same for the other piece of candy. Now I'll fill my bowl up to the fill line with water. Open up the brown packet and pour the entire thing into the bowl. Give this a little mixy mixy. So here's some mixy mixy shout outs for you guys. This goes out to said KD 2006 from Instagram, Zania Margaret, Mrs. Moon 552011, Stardust Yusel, Mario Genovese, An An Sama, Donica Fay, Victoria Bartolotta from Uruguay, Jennifer Grace from Indonesia, Melanie Victoria, who is three years old, Hone Pham from Vietnam, and to Courtney Angrove. Thanks, guys. Now I'm gonna pour water in the rectangular tray up to the fill line. Open up the orange packet for the noodles. 
Pour it all into the tray. And give this a little mixy mixy until the consistency gets a lot thicker. Now I'm going to use my toothpick and I'm going to poke it through one corner of the plastic bag. Scoop all of the noodle mixture into the plastic bag. Push it all down until it gets into that one corner that you poke through with a toothpick and squirt it into your bowl. I am so impressed. This really looks like ramen noodles. The last step is to make these two additional items for your ramen dish. You're going to take those two little balls that you made earlier and press them down into this mold. Now I'm just going to fill their centers with just a little bit of the noodle mixture that I made earlier. It really helps to use the fork to get that yellow mixture just right. I'll add them to my ramen bowl. Sprinkle in a little more of the stuff from the red packet. And our meal looks complete. Doesn't it look good? I do want to open up one of these dumplings to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Look at that, isn't that cute? Aww, I hope this tastes as good as it looks. All right guys, so I have my ramen and dumplings all made. I think I'll try the dumplings first. Hmm, the white on the outside tastes like bubble gum and the inside is super sweet and has a little bit of a crunch. This is really, really good. One of my favorite things that I've tried so far with pop and cooking. Now let's go with the ramen. I'm not so sure about cold ramen. I prefer it warm or hot. Guess I have to roll these like regular ramen noodles. The noodles really don't taste like anything except for maybe sugar. They have a pretty interesting texture kind of like real ramen noodles. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. Let me see if I can find that egg around here. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find that egg. <laughs> I lost my egg in my bowl. Mm, there it is. Well, overall I have to give this set a definite thumbs up. One of my favorite sets so far. I wasn't quite sure when I looked at the front of the packaging, but it's really good. It's really sweet, and I like the flavors they used. Great set. Well, thank you guys so much for watching day 18 of the 25 days of Poppin' Cooking. I am gonna post this video twice, so the second one will just have the sound effects of me cooking the set. I know some of you guys find that soothing, and I kinda do too. I kinda like watching those other videos where they don't post any sort of talking or music, and so I thought I would give that a try for this one. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow on day 19. Bye guys.